Hi, this tutorial will show you how to monetize your Umbrico site uh, with adverts using Google's AdSense and the site we'll take a look at is niequestions.com. The steps involved in monetizing your site are you add analytics to the site so Google can check the traffic going to the site and determine if there's any valuable content that advertisers would be interested in. You then make sure that the SEO is set up correctly on the site so that your site appears high in the results of a Google search. Once that is done, you create an AdSense account and you submit the site for approval. Once it gets approved, uh, the AdSense will prompt you to generate an ads.txt file. This contains authorised digital sellers information and you should upload that to the root of your website and verify it's accessible. So make sure your content management system uh, doesn't block access to it. Uh, after that, you should enable auto ads on your site to have Google place typically eight to 10 ads uh, on the site where it deems uh, the adverts will be best positioned. In addition to that, uh, you can add your own ad units, uh, which uh, we do on niequestions.com, we add to one to the header and one to the footer as the middle part of the, the site is Ajax loaded and gets replaced dynamically so can wipe out the auto ads. So having fixed ad units uh, gets around that. Uh, we'll then take a demo of niequestions.com and uh, take a look at some relevant code snippets that uh, made the adverts work. First thing we did to the site was we added Google Analytics so we could track uh, uh, which pages were, were getting traffic. And we did that uh, via Google Tag Manager. Uh, so we added uh, Universal Analytics to all pages. And you can see that uh, it's only the home page that gets any real traffic and it's got any real content. So that's the only one we actually enable ads on. Uh, the next thing that we wanted to make sure was that when we search for our site, uh, we make sure that uh, it comes up top in Google's uh, results. And once we had both of those, we then went to uh, Google AdSense. We created, a, we created a, an account and we submitted both the sites. So .com has been approved, .co.uk is uh, currently under review. Uh, once we uh, got the site approved, then we switched on auto ads on both the sites so that adverts appear automatically by default. But uh, as the site is Ajax, uh, the main body, the site is loaded by Ajax and it changes. When it changes, all the ads disappear. So we want to make sure that uh, we still have a couple of ads on the site when that happens. Uh, so uh, you can add specific ad units that you can control the location of. So we did a top ad and a bottom ad and uh, that, uh, that takes care of the uh, Ajax behavior. Uh, on the home page, you can track your revenue and uh, Google will pay that into your account uh, once it reaches the £60 uh, threshold in the UK. So uh, over to the Umbraco uh, architecture then. Uh, what I did was uh, I added uh, an AdSense uh, checkbox to each page uh, that would then only enable ads on that page if the checkbox was enabled. So on my site, uh, only the home page gets it. Uh, I then wanted to set, set up SEO with a page title and a meta description. 
what I actually did for that was uh, I set up glo global settings so that we can default the settings on every page and then just override it. So the meta title suffix, which you'll see here in IE questions with a bar, uh, will appear on every page as will the meta description. And then we just override the title for the individual page. And uh, that's how the, the site operates. Now, on the home page, uh, I add page sections for items that I want. So the add units is just a specific type of, uh, is an advertising section. And when you create an add unit, uh, you get a piece of HTML and that's all we paste into the section and that will be rendered on the page. So I add a, an advert at the top and an advert at the bottom and that takes care of uh, the ads. If we go to the site itself, you'll see uh, this is the home page. We have an advert at the top and let me add that at the top and then you can see that uh, Google places ads throughout the content uh, as it as it sees fit and then at the bottom we've got our other fixed ad unit and as I say the reason I did that was because if we uh, we pick a section group, you can see that uh, the catalogue of questions disappears. But here with our two ad units fixed at the top and the bottom, uh, we still get adverts in play. Now if we take a look at the code for the page, uh, we can find here's our SEO. So we have the title, we have the meta description, and the only other item I added was to make sure that every page is an H1 as well and then all the pages have the Google Tag, Ma Tag Manager to make sure we have the analytics. I added a canonical uh, snippet for the niequestions.com as we have the .co.uk and Google results were sometimes showing the .co.uk so I wanted to all focused on the .com. Uh, then the checkbox in each page that uh, enables or disables AdSense causes this snippet of code and that will cause the automatic ads to be placed. Uh, then the final part are the individual ad units uh, and there's a top ad that I mentioned and it'll be a bottom ad as well and that uh, controls the adverts for your site.